Hello, welcome back. All right, so um, in this video, what we're going to do is take a look at um, registered users in the login module and also how to create some content that is restricted to uh, registered users only. So um, the first thing that I want to do is um, create a category, actually. And we're going to actually create a category that's restricted to registered users. All right, so there we go. OK, and you've seen this several times now. OK, and I'm going to call this Think Tank. OK, and I'm going to come down here and upload an image. Um, I uploaded one earlier already, this uh, Triumph Tank right here. OK, there we go. See what I did there? Think Tank, Tank, yep. OK, um, I'm going to center that, and um, let's see what else. Um, OK, uh, one thing you should take note of, it says access right here, and we're going to keep that at public right now. OK, we're going to change that in a minute, but I want to show you why I'm going to keep it at public right now. OK, and that's probably it. So of course, save and close, and um, let's see here. Uh, well, before we create any articles for it, let's go ahead and create a menu item for it, okay? Because what I want to do is create a category blog anyway. So just like the other category blogs we've created before, same procedure here, and uh, call this Think Tank. Okay, so uh, let's see, the menu item type is going to be a category blog, okay? Just like our other ones. Okay, and the category, of course, has to be Think Tank. Okay, so I'm going to go over the settings right here. And um, what I want to do is show description. Okay, because that image, that tank th there is actually in the description area. Okay, so um, I want to make sure and show that. All right. So let's come over here and refresh. Okay, and you can see our menu item right there, Think Tank. And let's see, and there we go. Okay, so um, it's a category blog, so we're going to be able to add articles to this, just like our other category blogs on the site. Although what we want to do is make it so uh, Think Tank is only visible for registered users. All right, so let me show you how to do that now. So what we do is, um, well, first I got to close out of this. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go to the category manager and change the access level of that Think Tank category. All right. So back to Think Tank. OK. And I need to change the access level here to registered users. OK. Easy enough. And then save and close. Now we still have the menu item up, but um, watch when I go ahead and refresh this. All right. OK. Now when I click on Think Tank, nothing's there because the category itself is only viewable by to registered users all right so what I want to do is go ahead and get rid of that menu item too, not get rid of it but restrict it all right so you come over here to the menu manager and um, select a think tank menu item within our main menu here okay and then I want to change the um, access level of the menu item to be registered as well okay so the whole thing is going to disappear okay because uh, remember on the front end I'm viewing it um, not as a registered user alright okay and see it's gone okay it still exists it just doesn't exist to anybody that's not logged in as a registered user so how does a registered user log in um, well Depending on how you had Joomla set up originally, you 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 may have had the login already enabled. Um, if not, you go up to New, okay, and um, you just you know select Login from right here and create that login module. Okay, I already had mine, and I disabled that way in the beginning of the course. So let's enable that. I'm going to enable my User Menu module as well. Okay. And if you don't have that, and again, you just create that up in your new modules area again. So the user menu is a menu that comes with Joomla. And by default, there's some nice features right here that a user might want to have, like, you know, their profile. They can submit articles and, um, you know, change the templates they're using if they're allowed those features. Okay. Anyway, that's that user menu right there. Okay. Um, anyway, I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Okay. So... Again, that's uh, just the user menus assigned to a module here. So we've got two new modules that we've uh, created here, the user menu and the login form. So um, let's go ahead and uh, refresh here and take a look. OK, and there's that login form right there. And you see there's some options down here, including the ability to create an account. 
Um, let me show you how to shut that off right away. Okay. Um, you know, it's fine if you have it, but for right now you, you might want to know how to shut it off. So we want to go over to the user manager. Okay. And then come over to options. All right. And then right there, allow user registration. Let's just set that to no save. Okay. And then we'll come over here and refresh and you'll see that disappear. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. It's gone. Just like that. Okay. So that's, um, now if we have any members, they're members that we add ourselves. Okay. As opposed to people being able to register for the site. Okay. So I'm going to close out of, uh, the user's configuration here and, um, user manager, I guess I'm already there. Okay. And so, um, Zoo City Racers is a super user, but we can create other kinds of users. All right. Um, so let's do that. So we go up here to new, Okay, and we'll uh, give him the name Marlon Brando. As you can see, I've already typed his name in before. Okay, and um, login name, of course, is Marlon. And um, just make up a password here. Okay. And um, email marlin at zoocityracers.com. Okay, why not? Okay, I'm gonna skip all the registration date, so none of that stuff is required, okay? And um, yeah, it should be good. Now, um, we don't wanna save yet. We wanna go over here to the uh, assigned user groups, okay? And um, you can see that how by default, he's going to be a registered user. Now, there's other users here, like author, editor, publisher, and these people can do just like what the name says. They can um, write, or they can edit, or they can publish. And of course, super users can do everything. Okay, now if you're an author, you can actually create articles on the front end of the site. And you can also, you know, administrators and managers can actually go to the back end of the site and you can restrict what they can see. And look at this, you can even change which template experience on the administration side they're using. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. All right, and what I wanna do now is head over here to the home page and then log in as Actually, I should log out of this site completely so you see that I have no administrator rights whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. Okay, so no administrator rights whatsoever. Right now I'm viewing the site as a public person. And if I log in here as Marlin, there's the think tank. Okay, see that? Think tank. Pretty cool. And if I click there, I'm in some content right now that only registered users can see. Okay. And so there's lots of different applications for a feature like this. Okay. You could have different groups um, that can only see certain parts of the site. They can be collaborating on work together. Who knows? Right. Okay. So um, I guess what I should do is log out. And once I do, I won't have permission to actually view this content anymore. See that logged out. It's gone. Okay. And my menu item is gone too. Um, okay. So what I want to do now is make Marlin an author. So I have to log back in as the super user. Okay. So back to Zoo City Racers, the super user of this account. Okay. And go to user manager. Okay. And there's Marlon Brando and he's just a registered user. So I'm going to go over to the assigned user groups here. And, um, you know, it's fine. He can stay a registered user, but we're going to make him an author. Okay. So we're giving, uh, Marlon Brando permissions to contribute articles to our Zoo City Racers site. All right. So I'm going to come over here and log in as Marlon again. And, um, he, you know, think tank will pop back up again, but there's going to be a couple of changes this time. And so, you know, of course we got to log in. Okay. And there's think tank. Okay, so there we go. Just like before, except there is one change. Look at this, our user menu popped up, okay, with the ability to submit an article. And this is the front end way to submit articles to Joomla, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, create an article about the Triumph Thunderbird. And uh, Marlon Brando really wants a article about the Triumph Thunderbird. So, um, okay, got some text here from Wikipedia about the Triumph Thunderbird. And we're going to go ahead and just uh, throw that in here. Okay. And uh, clean it up a little bit. Just a second here. Okay. So publishing options. Of course, we want to set this to be the uh, think tank. All right. And let's see what else here. Um, well, let's just save it and see what happens.
Okay, you can't see the article, okay? Um, now, the reason why you can't see the article is because authors aren't publishers, okay? See that? Author. Now, um, we could make Marlon a publisher or we can not, okay? Maybe uh, I trust Marlon to create content but not to publish it without, um, you know, I need to proofread that stuff. So, um, what I want to do now is log out as Marlon Brando. Um, I don't need to, but just so you can see that I'm completely logging out as that user. And then I'm going to come back over to my admin side. Now remember, the admin side, I'm a super user, okay? And so I'm over here as a super user. There are different logins, all right? So Marlon was logged into the front earlier, but I'm still logged into the back as Zoo City Racers, the super user. Okay, so um, let's find that article because remember Marlon made an article for us, and there it is, the Triumph Thunderbird article, and it is not published. That's my job to publish it as a super user through the back end. And I think that's the safest way to go for now, okay? Uh, so anyway, of course, we can't see it until we log back in as Marlon. Okay, and there's our think tank, and let's see. And there's our article, okay? Pretty cool. Now, Marlon has the ability, because he wrote this article, to edit it if he wants to, because it is really long, all right? So see that little uh, wheel right there? I can edit this article, and I can edit it on the front end. All I really want to do is throw a read more somewhere so that it looks, whoops, there we go, so that it looks nicer, okay? And so I'll just go ahead and throw in a read more, just like that, all right? Now, this function is just like the uh, article editor on the back end. So that's pretty cool, and that's a way for a front-end author to edit their articles. And there we go. So um, there's our think tank, and there's a nice little article. And of course, we could stack these up just like we stacked up um, all of the motorcycles within category blogs. And you know, I might actually do that. It might look nice to have a whole bunch of articles here, all created by Marlin, with um, you know the teaser images and all that. So um, anyway. What I want to do now is um, show you something else. So, do you remember how we disabled the um, user registration area right here? So I'm going to go ahead and enable that, all right? And then save it. Okay, now if I um, log out here, of course it's going to kick me off the Think Tank page again because I won't be a registered user anymore. If we go to the front page, just as a public user, um, we now have the create an account option right here, okay? And if you create an account, you know, by filling out this form and then some, you know, uh, confirming through email, you can then be a registered user. And that will give you access to my think tank page, but that's it. You won't be able to write or uh, edit or, you know, anything like that, no creating articles. But you can access a hidden page this way, okay? And so that's a nice way to deal with, you know, membership or give people incentives to join your site. Okay, so as you can imagine, there's a lot of potential for this, all right? Here in the user registration, you can have users. Um, you can also just, you know, create users. And then, um, for example, if you have a bunch of people that are all working on a group project together and you want to keep that hidden, but you want them to be able to contribute content. Um, for now, I'm actually going to remove the uh, create an account option down here, okay? Um, I think Zoo City Racers is, uh, we won't allow that. Um, I just want to be able to add people if I want to, okay? I don't want people trying to join my site here. And it's gone. Now only people that I've allowed into the site can log into it, and that's just how I want it. So there you go. That was an introduction to user groups and permissions and using the login module.